So this is Luigi Rocks 2014 back with some more new Super Mario Bros. Wii. This is part four. And one thing I need I should probably mention about the capture toad levels is um the way you find Toad is you listen to the sound of his voice when he's yelling out like help or whatever. So listen to the sound of his voice and if you and if he's nearby, like if you can hear the sound of his voice, then you'll know that he's basically gonna be found in one of those little question mark blocks and stuff, basically by the sound of his voice. So yeah. So I did the capture toad level off camera. I got a red mushroom house at the start of the world, but I'm not going to go for that because if I go for that mushroom house, another toad's going to appear and I don't want to deal with any of that crap. So I'm just that's why I'm just going to skip those. So, regardless, we're going to move on to world 24, finish up the rest of this world and all that stuff. So, yeah. And one thing to also keep in mind, this also this level has a secret exit, so um and yes, it is best to have a propeller suit for this one, especially for the secret exit, because you need that to get the secret exit. Um, now, as I recall, I believe there is something down this pipe. Yes, there is. And down this pipe are a bunch of coins, which you really don't need to get, but I'm going to show it because, well, this is a playthrough, and I, I guess it's best to just show all the secrets as much as possible, I guess. But yeah, you can get some coins down there. Like I said, not something I would probably get because I don't need the coins. Alright. Oh, I can't even jump. Alright, so just head up here. Your first star coin is going to be up here. Um, yeah, try to navigate your way through this because I hate annoying mazes. This part is definitely for sure like an annoying maze. Alright, so after getting that, just head down the pipe. There are other stuff you can get through there, but I'm not going to grab all those coins. Okay, so it doesn't look like you can really do much at that part. Be careful the Koopas. If you get hit by those, you'll probably be screwed. Uh... One of those two question mark blocks, or not question mark blocks, the two bricks you see here, one has a one-up, which I don't really need, but I'm going to grab it anyways. Uh, this is where I screwed up. I fell into that, I fell down that pit there. I was trying to go into the pipe, but the wind basically pushed me down that the pitfall area, and that's how I screwed up, so. Yeah, there's your second star coin. You need the propeller suit for that one. Oh, your third star coin. Oh, yeah, you need the wind for that one. Can I actually get down there before the wind kicks in? Looks like it. Alright. And then for your secret exit, there's a warp pipe up there, but I'm not going to go for that. Alright, so just head into the pipe and then, yeah, I'm go for the normal exit and then I'm going to have to cut to the secret exit. Oh boy, that should be fun. Alright, so yeah, that's the, um, yeah, so that's it for that area. And now, I'm going to go back and get the secret exit. So I'll meet you guys there when I... I'm at the secret exit. Alright, so we're back and... Up here is where you can find the secret exit at. So head up this pipe and then... You can basically grab all these coins. And there you go, that's it. Alright, so with that, we unlocked the warp pipe to the castle, which I'm not really going to head to that just yet. Yeah, just like in New Super Mario Bros. DS, you unlock a warp pipe leading to the World 2 castle. Yeah, doesn't that bring back memories, huh? Yeah. Alright, next level, World 2-5. I would do World 2-6 because of the secret exit, but I'll do that after this level.
Alrighty, so... I don't think it's... No, it's not that one. I don't think it's either of those either. No. But for all I know, one of these blocks contains a Yoshi egg. Which means we get some Yoshi action. Alright, there you can get a 1-up if you really need it. Which really, in my opinion, I don't. Yeah, there's your first star coin. You really don't have to jump off of Yoshi to get it. You actually could just use Lakitu's Cloud to get it if you really wanted to. Actually, I need a... Okay, I kind of messed that up. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is fall down here, because this is where the second star coin will be. So up here is the second star coin. I really don't like these pitch black areas, but ugh, man, I just can't do anything about that. It really messes up the camera reflection big time. I don't know why that is. Okay. Actually, so what I'm going to do is get rid of Lakitu and eat his cloud. So there's some coins hidden behind that cloud. I think all that gives out is just a bunch of mushrooms, which, in my opinion, I really do not need. So, yeah, I'm just going to skip most of this area. Try to remember where the last star coin's supposed to be. Okay, it's definitely not near that area. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's been so long since I've played this game. I don't think it's really that far back. It has to be down like a warp pipe or something, right? Maybe not. Ugh, I don't really don't want to look up YouTube on how to do, do this crap. Alright, I'll just try moving further to the right and just stay in midair. Unless that's it right there. No, it is not. Oh, found it. Alright, and there we go. That's it. So with that, we have all three star coins for World 2-5. Alright, so just to clarify... Um, so we unlocked that area. We're not gonna head through that just just yet. Uh, just to stay up to date. Okay, so we're doing pretty well so far on 100%ing this. Just yeah, the star coins menu basically lets you see what star coins you collected and which ones you missed or whatever. And as you saw, I pretty much have all the star coins up to this point. So I have this in the castle, and then we'll be done with World Two. So the first one's right there, really self-explanatory. Um, it actually is a lot easier if you just have a propeller mushroom with you, or a propeller suit, whichever or. Um, so yeah. Okay, and... Kill the Koopa. Head up this pipe and you will find the second star coin. Now here, if you do not have a propeller suit, have no fear, you can actually use this this block here and it'll be it basically works the same way as a regular propeller suit where you shake the weir mode and you go in midair basically the same stuff so uh, you can't really take it down warp pipes or anything like that so yeah and that's why we we have the propeller suits and all that kind of crap over here though you can get a one-up out of that block and now Oh yeah, the fire, ch the fire chain or whatever his name is. Oh, I hate this guy so much. Let's see if I can kill him. There we go. Now hold on. There's a certain way on how you want to do this because, as I recall, this block it basically allows you to get the secret exit as well. So please don't be in my way. 
Yeah, you basically are to use that block to get to the um, secret exit or the P switch or whatever. And apparently, I got hit by the stupid fire chomp. No worries, I'll still get the propeller suit the same way. Um, or maybe I don't need it. Maybe I don't need this to get to the... No, maybe not. Yeah, okay, no, I don't need that. If I just stand to the tippy top of the pink block, I can still get up there the same way, so... Yeah. And why am I not going for the secret exit? Because I don't want to. I just feel like getting the normal exit is the more efficient way to go than secret exit. Because either way, I'm pretty sure you have to get the normal exit in order to 100% the scheme. So, yeah. Alright, so with that, normal exit will take you to that quicksand area, I think that is. Nah, I wouldn't call it quicksand, but yeah. Anyhow, I'll meet you guys at the secret exit. Alright, so we're back, and now for the secret exit. And yeah, for no reason, I'm just going to get these red coins, so yep. Alright, so what you're going to want to do, I may be a little bit too early. Yeah, I am. Oh, crap. Okay, now, ugh. There's no way I can get it with that stupid fire chain in the way. Okay. Okay, that was still too early. Again, still too early. Okay. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, so head up that pipe and then find your way to this area. And do I have enough to get 100 coins? Oh, okay, that was close. And that's why you need the propeller suit in case you end up falling off. So yeah, there you go, that's the secret exit. And yeah, now this will unlock the cannon to World 5, which of course I'm not really going to show you guys that. Now one other thing I also want to point out too, as you may have seen on some of the menu screens, um, yeah, when you play this game, I, sh I never usually explain the controls much in my walkthroughs, but... This game, normally when you play this game, you'd be holding the Wii Remote sideways, but if you're one of those people where you just can't deal with holding the Wii Remote on its side and prefer the Nunchuck, yes, this game is compatible with the Nunchuck, so if you prefer Nunchuck controls, then yeah, you can use the Nunchuck for this game as well. Um, I'm actually, as you saw, I am actually using, I'm actually playing with the Wii Remote on its side because to me it's a lot easier than with the Nunchuck. Believe it or not, I did try this game out with the Nunchuck, and it was a major pain doing this, playing this game with the Nunchuck. So after that, I just decided, you know what, screw this. I'm never using the Nunchuck again, so I just decided from now on, like, when I play this game, I always play with the Wii Remote on its side because to me it's just easier that way. Anyhow, um, yeah, I didn't think so. I should have went that way, but that didn't work out too well. Okay, so here we have the enemies of these little pitfall holes. Basically, this is mainly where you battle these uh, spinies. Um, I actually am going to need this guy. Okay. Let me grab that and then always grab that last. And there you go. The toad will basically give you a couple extra mushrooms, so if you basically are always using your mushrooms in your item stash and you end up running out of a few, have no fear because these enemies that you battle on the world map gives you dozens of mushrooms. Like normally I would have had 9 mushrooms, but because I used that one mushroom on world 2-4, I'm basically now down to, um, what's it called, 8 mushrooms and I wasn't going to even make that anyway, so that don't matter and I wasn't going to make that either. Um. Okay, now he's just taunting me. Oh, okay. I didn't think he would appear at the same spot, but okay. <laughs> that makes it a heck, of, a heck of a lot easier. Okay. Okay, so grab that. How did I not get that? Okay. Alrighty, so...
Yeah, you kill those guys. That's what I do is I grab the spiny and I kill the other ones on the ground and then Yeah Okay, so with that toad here is once again gonna give us three mushrooms and that puts me at 11 mushrooms Again, I would have 12, but I had to use one of the mushrooms on World 2-4. I never usually have to use the mushrooms that often in this game because usually I do pretty well without actually using a single item. But yeah, there are times where I do need to use an item, but not all the time. So yeah, I guess with that, we're pretty much, everything's all done. It's just, all we have left is the castle, so no, I don't want to use an item. So yeah, let's just head into the castle. Um, oh yeah, and to select a world, as you probably already know if you looked at the little icons on the world map, yes, the minus button, uh, you basically use that and you can select a world a world from there by pressing minus, so yeah, that part should be pretty easy to get down. And yes, I always recommend having a propeller suit at the beginning for this castle, because yeah, you can get that star coin no problem. Normally, if you didn't get that star coin at the beginning, you would take that middle path, but if you got the star coin, you want to take the path up top. Now, for those who have watched my new Super Mario Bros. DS walkthrough will know that this is one of these castles where you have to follow the, the correct path. In the DS version, the path used to be bottom, top, middle. In this game, it's top, bottom, middle. Like, as you saw there, the top path was the correct path to go, and now where we want to go now is the bottom path. Um, I know what you're thinking. Am I in the wrong path? Yes, I actually am. The bottom path is where you want to go. So, yeah. The, 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 the maze here is, yeah, top, bottom, middle for this, for this version of the game. If you're playing the DS version, yeah, the, the correct way to go would probably be the, would be bottom, top, middle. I don't know why Nintendo decided to just change the patterns up. It's really, I don't know what they were thinking. Oh, yeah, and if you miss that part where if you didn't get those coins in time, then you have to take, you're supposed to take the middle path, but if you don't grab those coins before the P-switch runs out, uh, you have to take either the top or bottom path, and you basically get it wrong, and you have to repeat the same thing over again, which, since I failed to grab those coins, I have to repeat this part again. So, yeah. Anyhow, I'm just going to stay at the top path so I don't fall into that lava. And there you go. So this time I got the coin, so I'm going to stay on the middle because the middle is the correct way to go. So, yeah. But, yeah, you can play this game with the Wii Remote or Nungshuk. Um, as I said, yeah, We're, the whole, playing with the Wii Remote on its side is easier for me. So, yeah. And someday I will probably redo Donkey Kong Country Returns on the, on the Wii because... Um, this game is actually just like Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii, where if you were, where you could basically play with the Wii Remote on its side or Nunchuck. Even with that game, I like playing the game with the Wii Remote on its side too. So, and yeah, someday I will do that game when I get a copy of it. Like I will do Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii because my 3DS playthrough, like, I don't know, I didn't really like my 3DS playthrough that much, and I felt like I could have done a whole lot better if I had just done it on the Wii. So, yeah. So here, when Larry falls, or, yeah, is his name, no, it's, uh, Roy Koopa. If I said his name was, like, Larry or whatever in the other castle, I apologize. No, his name's Roy Koopa. And what I do is, I will, I prefer wall jumping at this part, so, like, if he, when he falls down, if you're standing on the ground when he falls, then, um, yeah, you basically are stunned for a moment, and that basically will just screw you over, so... I usually just prefer wall jumping between the wall and the pipes, just so that way if he does fall, I won't, he won't stun me or nothing like that. So that's one of the unique strategies about the, that boss fight is always wall jumping between the pipes and the castle walls itself. So, yeah. You can choose either side, left or right, doesn't really matter to me. I could choose either or if I wanted to. So once again, Bowser Jr. runs off with Princess Peach, all that crap, but yeah, no matter. But with that, we got all the star coins in World 2, which means we can move on to World 3. Uh, don't worry about the cannons, I will show that later on in the game. Like when I get to World 8, I'll 
show the cannons. So, yeah. So next Koopling is Lemmy Koopa. Yeah, if you thought this guy's Larry Koopa, no, 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 no. That's Lemmy Koopa you're talking about. So, yeah. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in World 3.